Hey, what's happening, guys? I don't know if you remember or not, but back on January 1st of this year, we built this inductor substitution board, which has, I don't know, 20 or so inductors on it, different values. And you can use a jumper to select them and get different uh, inductance values in your circuits to test out and see how it'll work. Well, there's nothing wrong with the board. It works just fine, but it's a little bit large. And with those banana connectors sticking out the back, it doesn't really sit flat. So I thought maybe we should redo it and make it more of a breadboard friendly project. So that's what we're going to do today. All right? Cool. So here's our design. Nothing spectacular. We have inductors running from 1 microhenry up to 4.7 millihenries. One side of the inductors are common together and they go to one side of our 2.54 millimeter or 0.1 uh, inch connector and each of the other sides are broken out to one side of this jumper board and then the other sides are common together and they go to the other part of that connector and then by placing a jumper across we can select the inductance value that we want and to answer an earlier question when I did this Yes, you can select multiple inductance values at the same time and add them up. So here's our PCB design. As you can see, it is uh, considerably smaller than the other one we did, the original. Why aren't you working? Ah, because you're not what I wanted. So this one is uh, 76 millimeters by 36 millimeters, so it's much smaller. It's just more usable, I think, when they're smaller like that. Everything seems to fit better. And here is our 3D view of it. This one's in blue. The board that we're actually going to make is in black, so it looks kind of like that. Front side backside and we're going to mount this connector facing down so this can be plugged into a breadboard so other than making this smaller the only other change is I spaced these out so they weren't overlapping each other as much as they were before yeah there's still a question about whether or not there's going to be some stray inductances with these things interacting with each other but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal especially if only one side is connected we will get these ordered up from PCB Way, and actually I've already done it. So you know this this is the part of YouTube you don't see. I ordered these back in January, knowing that we're going to have this problem right here. Notice we'll have the Lunar New Year holiday from February 6th to February 18th. And while the factory might be working, my contact is uh, not working. So we want to make sure that we got these out to you guys and everything is good so keep in mind if you're going to order anything in the next week or so from any of these Chinese companies nothing is going to get done okay all right so I've got these ordered let's take a look so the boards are in there you can see the front side with all our inductor values starting from the smallest working up to the largest and then our jumper rail which matches that and then our connection, there's the back side, all very simple. So, let's put one of these bad boys together, huh? Alright, so we start by just feeding the inductors into the board. And I know this isn't terribly exciting, so I'll tell you a story. I went yesterday, and today is a uh, February 11th, so yesterday was February 10th, and had a CT scan of my ankle. I don't know the results. That's the story. About as interesting as watching me put in these inductors. And I make a mistake when I put in the 4.7 microhenry inductor. I accidentally put in a 4.7 millihenry, which is supposed to go at the bottom end of the board there. I don't notice it right away. It's right there in that baggie. 
So I go to tape it up and I'm like, uh oh, I forgot one. Take that one out, put it where it belongs, put the proper one where it belongs. And you notice I've got the spacing right on these so they all fit well. And we just solder them up, nothing special here. You can tell when your joint is ready because the solder kind of makes a cone shape and then it pulls down and it will cover the entire pad, which is what you want to see. You want to see the entire pad covered. So then I check, make sure they're all sitting flat, good enough. And we'll turn the thing around so that you have easy access. Well, uh, comfort is one of your best bets in making good solder joints. If you're comfortable while you're doing it, then chances are everything is going to work out pretty well for you. You don't want to be straining trying to get in there and get the joints. And you also want to have good visualization of where you're soldering. And you're going to see that come up here in the next part where I'm actually soldering on the little jumper connectors. First, I got to cut these off. And, you know, frankly, you don't really need to watch all that. So I'm just going to stop and get to the next point. So we got the jumper connectors in here. I can see just fine on this top row how I'm doing. There's a little bit of drag soldering. I'm not even picking up the iron. I'm just moving it from one point to the next and counting on the solder resist. But now I really don't have a good view here. I mean, you have a better view than I do because the camera's directly overhead. I'm looking at a kind of an oblique angle. And these joints all look fine to me at this angle. But I bet you they don't look fine to you because now I go back and I check and I can see where I didn't cover the whole pad and things didn't work out well. So, you know, basically always double check everything. Then we're going to put on the final uh, connectors pointing down so that we can put them into a circuit board or a piece, yeah, a, a, a breadboard, and this will fit in there very nicely. And there it is. All nice and soldered up for your whoops, multiple inductance pleasures so we'll plug it into a breadboard and we'll bring in the LCR meter let me readjust the camera okay so we're all fired up here we're set on the one micro Henry range now remember these read higher on these lower values we're like we're getting 2.6 there on one let's go up to uh 10 is that on 10 no that's on 15. so let's see what we get off of 10. 11.9 let's see what we get right here off of the board itself yeah see we're still getting 12. we're still reading a little bit higher let's go up to 100 micro henry's now remember here this value is only 200 is the smallest i got so that plays a part in it as well so up to 100 micro henry's still reading 115. can i adjust that down no not really so we're reading a little high let's go to one milli henry So that's on the two millihenry range. So yeah, that's fine. We're getting 1.1. We'll go up to 3.3. So I'll have to jump up to the 20 millihenry range. 3.3 showing us 4. And then we'll go to 4.7. We're still 20, so we're good. 4.9. Now, let's try and add another jumper on here. So we're at 4.7. Let's add one more millihenry in. We're reading what? 4.9. We should be reading somewhere around 5.9, 6, maybe 6.2. Except they go the other way when you add them together, huh? Yes, indeed. So we're at 0.91. Got to get your math right there, Paul. So when we put them in parallel like that, we have them. Or 
you know, if they were even, they'd be halved. Otherwise, we have to follow the inductor formula, which is, uh, what is it? Uh, 1 over LT, which is total, is equal to 1 over L1 plus 1 over L2. Basically, they come out to just a little bit smaller than the smallest one. So our smallest one we have was 1 millihenry, and we came out to 0.92. So that's what you get. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this channel and this video. Couldn't do it without them, and I couldn't do it without the patrons. If you're not a patron, check it out. A buck a month is all I ask to help support the channel. And we get cool stuff like this, which you can go to PCB Way and download. Let me show you where to find the links to this in all the videos, okay? Okay, down in the uh, description of any of my videos, you're going to find the link uh, pcbway.com slash project slash member slash uh, whatever it is right here slash project slash member slash question mark b m as in michael b n as in november o equals blah 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 just look down there for that link and that will bring you to this page where you can get all of my board designs that you want and download them for free or if you really like to be cool you can order them from pcbway.com and you'll get them in about a week so check that out Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to PCBWay again. Big thanks to you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.